All right, guys, we are back with top four Edison format at Epic Cards and Games in Hearst, Texas. We got Steven Hernandez on the left playing Bayou Turbo versus Joey Lynch on the right playing Machina Tur his signature Machina Turbo deck. Both these guys want X1 assists, so we'll see who makes it to the finals. Lynch summons Card Trooper Mills, double Avarice Enhancer, so two of his Avarices are gone. I know Lynch likes to play three, so Steven pops the Card Trooper with Ryko, Mills Plague, and Greffer. So my guess is when this happens... He couldn't stop the car trooper attack. I think Steven set bottomless. That's my guess. Could have said MST as well, but that, I'm, I'm going to guess that he set uh, bottomless. So now Lynch charges, searches Lila. And yeah, Steven's kind of new. Some of you guys maybe watched his previous match where he kind of didn't know some stuff. So yeah, he's still really new to the format. While Lynch is a regular, he's got... He's been in the final seven times, but he's never lost. So we'll see if he can continue that streak and get to his eighth finals on the channel. So Lynch does shoot his... He opened double Vayu and then attacks him with Vayu. So the rest of his hand is Brain, Burial, MST. And I'm guessing his other back row is bottomless, but we'll find out if I'm correct. Now, sometimes... Okay, yep. Yeah, it's like I was almost positive I was bottomless. Because when they set Ryko like that, usually they have bottomless or deep prison. So he drew into Caius, tributes the, tributes the value for Caius. Lynch chains Torrential to Caius and passes. So yeah, we know the rest of his cards. But one thing I want to go over, I'm pretty sure Steven's on two Greffer, which is like the standard. But me, since I play three Greffers, I probably wouldn't have summoned the value there in my list. So it looks like, that he. I'm pretty sure he attacked him. You know all his cards, right? Maybe he forgot. So now Steven Normal summons Sirocco. And MST's the back row, which is D Prison. Okay. Probably should MST first because he could have had a bottomless. <laughs> all right, so he attacks over the gear frame. All right, Lynch is bringing out. So what do we know is in Steven's hand? We know he has Brain and Burial, but like... Can, can Steven maybe potentially finish him off with like a brain control play? Let's say if Lynch, if Lynch drops the fortress, right? Attacks him over Sirocco, then he could like brain. How much damage is that? 46, 51, that's 7,100 damage. Oh, he could finish him off if Lynch drop. Oh, no, not anymore. Since it's gear frame, he can't finish him off. Unless if Lynch equips the gear frame, but I doubt he would do that. Yeah, he's not going to do that. Because then he could lose the brain control. But he has back rows as well, so... Okay, Lynch sets one. Yeah, because he knows he's got brain control, so he's not going to equip. So he has brain. He just drew a bottomless. So brain, burial. See, right now with Steven's hand, is there any way he can run over a fortress? Not really. Brain, bottomless, burial does not... Oh, no, he still has Plague. Okay, he can run the door. I forgot about Plague. So he has a lot of choices. He can... Uh, all depending on what Lynch's back rows are. I forgot he milled the Plague. Sometimes Vayu just win because they randomly mill a Plague. They randomly mill a Necro. They randomly mill a Vayu. So he summons Armwing. Now he has to... So he chooses to brain control the... And then tops for Plague. What's life? 39 to 62. Why'd you brain the Fortress, though? It's not like you have gain. There's not a level 9 Synchro you can make here. I think if you're going to brain, maybe you take the, the, the gear frame and make like a Goyo attack over the, over the Fortress. You can also bring out Colossal in defense mode if you want to do that play just to stall him. That would not have been a bad choice. Yeah, sometimes you just bring out Colossal and he can't really deal with it. So he chooses to go Stardust. And Lynch with the Bottomless on the Stardust. Okay, so had he gone for Colossal... And he attacks. So he has Burial. 
But now he can just crash. Yeah, he can just crash the fortress into the Stardust. All right, so 55, 38. Now Lynch summons Lila, crashes and hits him for 17. And does he Lynch have any back rows? Because you're going to get burialed next turn. Okay, he has two. Most Deep Prison, Regeki Break, and Mirror Force. It's always nice when... Now you don't have to worry about Torrential or Mirror Force. Both of them are gone. I would look to see how many Deep Prisons are gone, too. If I was in Steven's shoes... I think he kind of wasted the brain control there, though. Again, Steven's new to the format. He tried to... He tried to brain control a face down last time he was on the channel. Hey, but I'm glad he's playing because we are our Edison numbers are are shrinking every tournament. But we did get 14 players for this one. All right, so he, he snipes the mirror force and then Lila's the last back row, summons hamster and that is game. So Lynch takes game one, one went away to get back to the another finals. Lynch's deck profile is up. There's two versions of Lynch's profile. We have one from like a few months ago, and then we have a current one that we did, I think, like a week or two weeks ago. I think it was two weeks ago. All right, so Steven's going first. Game two, sets a monster, sets two back row. Some is car, Lynch, some is car trooper mills. Dust shoot, charge, and machina force. Here comes the D prison. This is Steven Hernandez. I know we have like so many Stevens, so that's why I usually I usually tend to use people's last names if they have a common name. Okay, Steven summons Armageddon Knight. What did he set? Necrogardena? Did he set Raiko? Did he set Hamster? He's not flipping it. So if he's not flipping it, it's probably not Hamster. It's either A, Raiko, or Necrogardena. Or it could be Plague, too. So here, Sneeman flips his trap dust shoot. His hand is double fortress, mind control, bottomless, and gear frame. Yeah, get rid of the gear frame. Yes. <laughs> okay. So double fortress, bottomless, mind control. So if Steven can just deal with that fortress, he's in a good spot. If he has like a bottomless, royal oppression would be good there too. Yeah, royal oppression would be really good right here. Let's see if he has it. So he mind controls the set. I think it's Ryko, but it could be Plague or Necro. I don't think it's Hamster. That's the only thing. It Could it be Vayu? Yes. Okay, that was a good good move by Lynch. Oh, and he had the bottomless too. Oh, man. Pitches Fortress. Yep, this one. Man, imagine if he would have flipped that Ryko last turn. I'm not saying that was the right play, but let's say he, what if he would have then I think he'd been in a good spot. I don't know if I would have flipped the Ryko there. It's the one mind control. I've lost a lot of games when I play a hamster Ryko deck just because my opponents randomly, you know, they'll randomly take my Ryko with their one mind control. And game one, it's annoying when it happens game one. All right, so he tributes Ryko for, yeah, he tributes Ryko for Caius. I think he targeted Fortress. Lynch chains bottomless, so he's going to look at his hand and choose to either get rid of Necro, sorry, Ryko or Gr no, 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 no. Oh, great. <laughs> oh, bad. All right, Lynch caught it. So apparently, in the last duel, people were mentioning that Steven had two car troopers in his deck. Again, he is new to the format. And my guess is because we play hat format as well, and he is also playing hat. I think he maybe thought Car Trooper was limited to two in both formats. But we'll see. I haven't gone back to watch the video, so we'll see if the second Car Trooper pops up here. So far, I haven't seen it. It's an honest mistake, though. People sometimes don't look at the ban list. All right, so here, Steven flips the Ryko and is going to target Lynch's set monster, which is Lynch's own Ryko. Most Dark Arm, Gale, and Avayu. Pokes Lynch for 200, sets another monster... And here comes Avarice from Lynch. Returns Rikos, Hamsters, Force, Fortress. Man, Lynch draws Avarice like it's his job, man. That's his signature car. He always, at least in Edison format, he always draws it. I've, and he, he draws it when he needs it, too. Like, when he'll be top decking, he'll have one card in his hand. 
draw into Avarice and fight. We saw him, him and the Sheriff had a heck of a game three in one of the previous videos where Lynch was in trouble and he just drew the Avarices. All right, so here comes Regeki break. Hits the third Raiko. Ooh, he chose to attack with Raiko. So Raiko pops Raiko, mills Lila, gear frame, and force. Man, he was not afraid of hamster. <laughs> All right. What else does Steven have in his hand? They're both kind of... Steven's up one card. So he activates the lore. He has a Soroka. Ooh, return. Uh-oh. Does he have to banish the Soroka? But you have Caius and Soroka banished. So that return might end the game. We'll see. What will Steven banish? So he banishes Soroko. MSTs. Lynch's MST. Sets return. What's Lynch's life points at? 64. So return is not game. Oh, Greffer. Discards DD Crow for Greffer. This might be game if Lynch can't stop anything. Because he's going to get. That's already 4,000 right there. Yep. Battle attack. And he mirror forces him. Is that game with the return? Fourth out. Yep, that's game. Return is game. Unless if Lynch has gores. Oh, return. <laughs> that's game, yeah. Unless if Lynch has gores, this is game. Yeah, yeah. Oh, he doesn't have. He has Cyber Valley. So Lynch gets returned for game, and we are going to game three. I got to keep an eye out for Steven because I, apparently people said he was playing two car troopers in uh, the earlier rounds. All right, so Lynch is going first. Game three, summons gear frame, adds fortress. Who will make to the finals? Steven, the newcomer, or Lynch? The uh, I don't even have a nickname for Lynch. All right, so now Steven summons Greffer, discards Sirocco. Probably have to send Bayou here, or Necro, depending on what else is in your hand. So he sends Bayou. And do you bring out the value? I mean, you kind of... I would. You want to run over that gear frame, right? Ooh, but Lynch with the DD Crow. Banishes value. Now he activates Foolish. See, I tell people, Foolish Foolish is good in some some situations. Like, in this situation, it was good. Because it's, it's a Armageddon Knight that doesn't take up your normal summon. That's what I always tell people. It's kind of like an extender in this deck. But you can draw it dead sometimes. Late game. So here, it looks like Lynch had nothing to stop the summon of Arnwing or the attack. But Lynch probably can... If he can drop a Fortress, it's not going to matter. Yep, he activates Yada. Two Yadas. I mean, it's pretty obvious. I mean, Lynch can stop your Arnwing summon or attack. So you probably guessed that he set Yadas or like MST, stuff like that. So now Lynch sets two back rows, sets a monster. Come on, Caius! Oh, mind control. Does Lynch have a compose or something? To a solemn judgment? Would you solemn a mind control? Oh, it's Plague. It, it, it didn't matter. Plague, Hamster, Raiko. All of them were good. <laughs> oh, now he can make a level 8 Synchro, too. So he goes for Stardust. All right, just don't walk into deep prison, and you're okay. <laughs> oh, please, don't walk into deep prison. No, don't walk into deep prison. <laughs> oh, compulse. Okay, that makes me feel a little bit better. At least, at least it was compulse, not not deep prison. <laughs> oh man, I don't know if I would have attacked with starters there, but that like deep prison is like the easiest card to read. All right, so what are we at? He already used two Yada, so he most likely was not bluffing you. So he tributes the Fortress for Caius, gets rid of the Raiko, and then plays his signature card, Pot of Avarice, but uh, Steven does have the DD Crow. Crow's the Fortress. I mean, this is fine for Lynch. Uh, Steven's got two cards staring down at Caius. 
This is a good game. They're they're pretty even in cards. Now let's see. One Riker. So he just sights on top for plague. Now he's gonna make either a Stardust or Dark End. Let's see which one Lynch decides to go for. So he chooses Dark End, sends the Necro card, <laughs> and chooses to attack. So we're at thirty-five to fifty-eight. He passes, hits him for twenty-one. No gores from Steven, and now Lynch sets a second back row. He does have Necro to stop him from losing this turn, and he chooses to deprison the Dark End. Now Lynch sets a monster. Here he slams down the Rota. One Grefricon. Does he get the set? Oh, he grabs Armageddon Knight. He has a, what, Arm Wing? So he can't send a, the third Vayu. So this is a situation where sometimes Foolish is dead. Like when you use all three values and your plague. I remember because this is how I lost at YCS Sacramento. I drew a dead foolish and I was so mad. <laughs> all right. So here Armageddon. I think when you lose, I got a big event. It stings way more so it sticks in your memory. Versus when you lose at a local or when you're test playing, it doesn't sting as much. All right. Here comes Car Trooper. He still has Necro Gardena, So he's going to just force the Necro. Looks like Steven's got all monsters. Now he's going to use Vayu's effect. Lynch lets it go through. There are 14 to 58. Brings out Arbor Master. And he bottomlesses the Armor Master. He's got Caius, DD Crow, and I think he's got double Caius. So Raiko popped the set, and that is game. I always say this. <laughs> you know you're in trouble when you have to set DD Crow. <laughs> yeah, he just drew double Caius. It was unfortunate. Is he on three Caius? It was, I, I don't know, but we did not see the second car trooper, but Lynch is going to another finals. We'll see if he can keep that undefeated streak going. This is his eighth, eighth trip to the finals on the channel. He's won all seven times with Machina. And also check out the link in the description. I have a coupon code for 5% off Yu-Gi-Oh! singles or product at Epic Cards Games. The code is my first and last name, Oscar Zelaya, all caps. And yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Bye.